What's up, everybody? It's your boy Lucky A here. Coming at you with my gameplay for Flower Guardians, the OTK FTK. Uh, we've been getting hit up recently. So, um, people are asking us, how does the deck work? What do you do? How to play? Uh, I'm going to try to give you the best advice possible. Uh, when you're playing this deck, take mathematics into account. The deck profile is, of course, 41 cards, you know, majority of them being flower cardians, everything else is spells, and uh, the 2 max C. So, every time you start out with your opening hand, think of it like counting cards. What do you have more of? What do you think you're going to have your highest chance of drawing into something? So, as of right now, I have two of the flower cardians out of the, I believe it's 23, and then three spells out of the 16. When you're thinking about max C in the deck, they treat it like a spell because flower cardians are only meant to draw flower cards. Looking at your opening hand, if you have a way to start special summoning over your normal, prioritize that at all costs, like uh, Cherry Blossom with Curtain. The odds of you drawing into a flower cardian monster are far higher, especially when you have uh, spells in hand. So then that's what you want to do. Preserve your normal summon for if, um, if needed later. Plus, worst comes to worst, if you need to make some space for your monsters after you do like a um, flower gathering with like a hand trap, you can just tribute them into like a zebra grass or a, um, a willow because they are normal summon. Those are monsters you can normal summon. But <clears throat> without further ado, your goal is to just try to shrink your deck out to the best of your ability. Constantly use willow to recycle key cards. Redo plays, desynchro your synchro, that way you can get like a, um, a huge plus off of it. And yeah, just try not to mill your spells. So you just gotta play a little safer. It's not always gonna happen, this deck, I mean, based off my record here, it's only about a 70% chance that everything falls into place. And sometimes you can have like the greatest opening hand, but it's not always gonna turn out in your favor. I had a game where all three monsters were able to be summoned and all my draws were spells and it just rendered my entire deck used to that point. But without further ado, uh, here's my opening hand. I go into a normal, Pot of Avarice for recycling and my reincarnation of monster with one. So I'll just try to talk you through it as we go. There we go. There are more monsters in the deck than there are spells, so take your chances. Sweet. Piani, always go for this one. You want to always try to leave the level one out because of Cherry Blossom, the original form of that one. Reason being is because when you do so, uh, you're going to have an open target for Tribute Fodder. You're going to have um, more monsters to bring out because remember, they all, all the other alternative methods require that you. Uh, has something that's a level less or far lower. Willow's a level 11, so as long as you control a level 10 or lower. Zebra is a level 8, so as long as you control a level 7 or lower. And etc. etc. So from here, you still have your monster recardinate. Uh, you have your monster bone, basically, the, the recardination. You're just going to try to sink her out. No matter what, this card is going to be key. Unless you feel your opponent might do something to destroy your crap, you can summon Light Shower as a safe play. But worst comes to worst, you'll manage to burn them all the way if you have your synchronized realm out. <clears throat> I always strictly recommend just trying to go into the um uh what's the best way I can say? Oh you know what? Scratch that. <clears throat> Try to go into three copies of uh of the light shower. And you'll be good. Uh, with the Cherry Blossom, like the effect I did right now, uh, what you usually want to do is try to go for cards that you feel are easier summons or for a super summon potential. Willow's going to generally recycle the Synchro if you have only one Willow and one of the Synchro monsters on the field. If you can get that, you're in the clear. If you can't, I'll show you later. If you have a synchro play after flower gathering with one of the tuners, say you have like five monsters in there. Start off with the level one and the level three. 
into the, the Synchro Monster, draw your effect, and then do that with the Willow and Zebra Pass, because when you do your D Secret play, it's a major plus. Like, for example. I already did my plus one, so my hand's back, so I'm going to have to feel the Uh With this hand, you can get out of Nibiru. Just try to conserve your cards to the best of your ability. And whenever you de-secret after you do a setup, it's just an instant plus, no matter what you do. You're always guaranteed plus one, because Willow recycles, so that's going to be your card to him. She's going to be your card to him. And remember, just try to draw into your synchronized realms. Shrink out your max Seas or any of your other spells, which I have. You do that, safe. But always try to make sure any once per turn effects you have are ready for you. If you don't, you generally like that. Keep an eye on your grave, keep counting, and go from there. If you treat the max C as a spell, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spells technically gone. As the rest are flower cardians. Go from there. I probably should have done flower gathering first. That way I can increase my chance of trying to draw into a spell, but it still works out either way. Oh. Also, just in case your opponent runs in permanence, activate your spell cards on zones 1, 3, and 5. Never activate them where the link zones are pointing to. Because if you do so, that whole line is basically shut down and you want to just leave this open. Usually when people are doing a hand trap, they tend to target the same monsters. In Another thing, if you do flower gathering and you summon zebra guys, even though the effects are negated, use it. This will tell you if your opponent has a hand trap at the ready or not. You don't want to take a chance to think what's wrong with that, you know? Or actually, let's do this first. Zero. Remember, I want spells. But yeah, generally, you're gambling against yourself, not really your opponent. In doing so, you should be able to make a play. Use Avarice only when you have two of the Synchros in the grave. If you do it a little too early, unless it's like your last resort, you're going to kill yourself. We'll do it. After. You do need some targets for advanced spell if you happen to draw it with a synchro too, so that's why it's optimal to leave it like this as a safe play. But right, here we go. You don't always have to summon because with zebra grass you do get to your get your recycles. Now you can do it. Always make sure you try to recycle the synchros. And generally go for your willows. Always. Uh, if not, go for your Zebra Grass because your mulligans are going to be just as efficient. If you go for Cherry Blossom, you're just taking another gamble. So, there you go. Key card one. <clears throat> and yeah, so now if I happen to top deck a uh, Desynchro off of this. Bring your back. Draw from Willow, draw from that. Zebra Grass, recycle three. You burn. Just with one card, that's a thousand life point damage. And that's your whole game. So, I'll see if I can just try to put, go and continue through with the play through. And we'll go. Let's see.
as you can see, this is currently the whole process. Leaving your high tributes in, using it for the synchro. Get in, get in there hard. Like, see how I'm slowly plussing up my hand size now? While my board is still at a really bigger state. That's the whole premise. Last update, any of the monsters with like 100 attack, try to summon them in defense. <clears throat> if you don't, you are putting yourself at high risk of uh, killing yourself. Do note that, always try to keep your Willow and Zebra Grass in hand unless you do necessarily need to reshuffle the hand. Yeah. For Willow's effect, if you see two Willows in the grave and you have one on the board in your hand, after you use the effect, try to go for those first before you do the secret as well. Once you do the Zebra Grass play like this, if you have less than six cards and you think there's a spell in there, I think I have a reinforcement of the army still in the deck and the synchronized one. Just reshuffle the whole hand. Six or less cards, reshuffle the whole hand. Seven or more, keep it in there. Just recycle the tribute uh, firewalls. Because in doing so, you're still gonna have a lot of monsters in your deck. If you do it at a small one, you usually want to get those spells out of the way to guarantee monsters. I knew it. Cool. There's a 1 in 4 chance. You can kill the opponent right now with these, these two cards. It's just a matter of taking a risk. And that's what I'm going to do. This is, OTK, this is like the second way to OTK, because on draw phase, light shower, when they draw, they take 15. So, keep that in mind. If you got balls and you want to keep going, let's, get, let's go at it. Of course, there are zero cards in deck, so unless you, you yourself want to kill yourself, here you go. But if not, you just enter, start discarding your cards, just get rid of anything that's going to potentially give you a draw. If you have the hand trap, keep those in. So, that aside, here we go. Draws. And that's one of the three ways you can kill your opponent. Thank you for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. 
check out the channel.